How is how what, what, what's up? Oh, I love so much. Okay, hi. Um, how's it going? Beautiful people of the internet. Uh, my name is Anna. I am obsessed with horror a little bit. I'm also a horror writer. If you would like to listen to my latest podcast, you can click the link below. And if you have listened to it, thank you. Today I thought we would do something fun. It's summer, it's hot as fuck outside. So I thought I would make a comprehensive list of the movies that I like to enjoy during summer. Um, I'm definitely the type of gal that watches a movie 3,000 times in a row and, um, you know, destroys the soul of everybody around me. So these are probably movies that you've heard of, they're probably movies that you've watched, but maybe you'll find something new in there, and if not, it's really just like, a, it's just a list of movies that I enjoy watching during summer. I think they're good summer horror flicks. So grab your sunglasses. And your beach balls. Well, I don't have a beach ball, but I have a zombie. Does that count? Let's talk about the best horror films to watch in summer. So, I have created a list. And let's get started. Okay, so, first I wanted to talk about um, movies that are very hot. Very orange, red, very summer, you know, in the desert, those type of movies. So, the first movie that I have, and these are also in no particular order, by the way. They're not, like, best to worst or worst to best or anything. So, the first movie that I have is Sunshine. Now, if you haven't seen Sunshine, it's a movie about a space exploration to the sun to deliver a payload so that the sun kind of regenerates because the earth is very cold and people are dying. Um, now... I don't know if you've seen this movie, but it's really good. It's also um, obviously not just a horror movie. It's also got like science fiction and all sorts of stuff in there. But it's really, really, really well done. And, um, you know, what's hotter than the sun? And it has a lot of that, you know, that heat, that like visceral sweat and, and stress. And I think it's a really good movie to watch during summer. Uh, second on our list. <laughs> All right, second on our list is The Devil's Rejects. Now, by the way, you may hate me for making this list. Maybe you don't. Everybody has different horror movies that they love and hate, and The Devil's Rejects is one that I absolutely love. And I feel like you either love House of a Thousand Corpses or The Devil's Rejects, and I feel like a lot of people don't love both. So I am on the side that leans towards The Devil's Rejects. I think it's uh, well done. I think it's well put together. You know where you are in time, as opposed to... Um, the House of a Thousand Corpses, which is pretty vague in that sense, where you don't really get a good sense of the time, like the wardrobe, the music track, the, you know what I mean? Whereas I feel like the, the Devil's Rejects is more cohesive altogether. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you think differently, that's totally fine. It is a gore fest, so if that's not what you're into, maybe not for you. But, um, you know, it's very orange. It's filmed in the desert. It's very hot. I always think that The Devil's Rejects is really good to watch during summer. Third on the list for our hot movies, huh. The Hills Have Eyes. Okay, um, before I say the word remake and everybody rolls their eyes and hates me, just give me a chance, because there are a few re remakes on here. So, The Hills Have Eyes and The Hills Have Eyes Remake, they are both good movies, the, the original and the remake, and a lot of them have to have a lot of similarities, like a lot of conversations are the same, a lot of scenes are the same, but I think that the remake is just a bit better, dare I say better? Um, just a bit updated. Uh, I really do like the the remake and I think it's just a fun horror movie to watch. It's really good for summer. Again, it's very orange, it's very hot, uh, they're in the desert. It's just, it's a great summer horror flick. In fact, I just watched this the other day and I hadn't seen it for quite some long time and I really enjoyed it. It's quite bloody. <laughs> it's pretty good. I forgot to mention the father in this movie is the same actor who plays Buffalo Bill, which is also why this movie is superior. I'm gonna go Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, this might be like a more obvious answer, but that's okay, I think. Uh, also, I would like to point out that usually when I'm going to watch Texas Main Chain Texas Massacre, uh, when generally when I am watching a Texas Main 
generally when I'm watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I do gravitate towards the 2002 remake with uh, Jessica Biel. Um, not that it's, you know, the best movie in the world, but, and you guys might also hate me for saying this, but the banter in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre drives me up the wall. I, I cannot stand it. Like, it really does drive me crazy. And I think actually in real life those two actors really did hate each other. And I feel like that's just way too evident on screen. It's just, oh, it's so obnoxious. So, um, that one's not my favorite. Again, I love Texas 2. Chop Chop, hello. My dog's named after Bill Mosley. Come on. But I will say that if I'm like, oh, I'm in the mood for some Texas Chainsaw, I usually do gravitate towards 2002. Hate me all you want. I don't care. I do care. So that was just another, obviously, hot movie, very orange, very summer, blah, blah, blah. And like, you know, who doesn't want to watch a movie about people cutting people's faces off and wearing them? Anywho, our next round of horror films, we have anything at a cabin, right? You think horror, you think going to a cabin, swimming, having fun. So as far as the cabin movies go, there's a lot of variety in here. So the first one, again, before I say remake, please hold your eye rolls. And I'm going to say Evil Dead. Now, now, hold your horsies, hold them, wait a second. I do love the original Evil Dead, and I would suggest the original and the remake to anybody. I think a lot of people didn't like the remake, and I'm kind of flabbergasted as to why, because it's a really fucking good movie. Everyone complains about like CGI in horror films and how it's like ruining horror movies and these are practical amazing effects and I think just because it had the name Evil Dead to it and it was associated with the original, people kind of misjudged it before they even watched it. And I have to admit I was one of those two. I heard Evil Dead remake, I went and saw it in theaters and I was like, no Ash, bye. But I rewatched it again and I have to tell you, Evil Dead remake is one of my favorite movies. It's so good. It's creepy, it's gory, there's, uh, there's actual effects in there and um, if you think of it as kind of like an extension from the original where these people just happen to own the same cabin that Ash did, you know, 30 years in the future, then I feel like it does make sense and I feel like it's not necessarily a remake in the typical sense, you know? And I feel like Ash's little groovy at the end was like a, a nod that he approved of it and I approve of it too. I think it's really great. But as far as summer horror films go, the original and the remake are are both amazing films to watch during summer. They just will give you different feelings. So the remake is like quite campy. It's quite, you know, it's very 80s horror. Um, it's still really good. I still love it. Um, and it does still kind of creep me out because there, there are a lot of weird like possession scenes obviously that are quite creepy still. So, um, and a lot of practical effects and that sort of thing. So if you look, or if you're looking for more of like a campy fun movie, I would go for the original. However, if you want to be creeped out, go for the remake. Just go there. It's so good. You know that scene where, I don't want to like, I'm not going to, I'm just going to tell you the scene, okay? If you haven't watched it, sorry. But you know the scene where she cuts her own arm off and she's like, I'm feeling much better now. And her arm's just like... <laughs> it's so good! Okay, sorry. Another cabin movie. Again, I wanted to give some diversity. So another cabin movie. I should mark these off as I'm going. Uh, pardon me. Um, back to our cabin movies. I am going to say Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods, um, this one is just fun, it's absurd, it's ridiculous, it's more of like a spoofy horror film, it's not scary, but it is fun, and it does kind of revisit a lot of like horror tropes that we all love and enjoy, although we say that we hate seeing the same thing over and over and over again, we do, we do love those horror tropes, so obviously... I picked Cabin in the Woods. Um, also, I just I didn't just want to come on here and say watch Friday the Thirteenth and then have the film have the video end. So I wanted something a little bit less, you know, general films that you've seen but maybe you haven't thought about in a while. <laughs> I have no idea where I where it stopped recording. So hopefully it just left off on the last thing. I I really don't know what I was talking about. Um, but again, with like the summer themed movies, I think The Crazies is a good one to visit. It's very hot, it's very, um, it's not necessarily like a very like orange film, it's not like The Hills Have Eyes or um, Devil's Rejects, but uh, it's just like a good, it's not the best movie in the world, it's not the worst movie in the world, it's just like a good, it's just a good fun film. Yeah, it's quite bloody and fun and 
uh, I feel like it's a good movie to revisit. Uh, most of these have been more on the slasher side. Those are just the movies that I tend to lean towards. Oh, I know what you did last summer. It has somewhere in the title. I have to use it. I'm sorry, it's the law. I I like this movie. There's not really much to say about it. It is a quintessential summer slasher. It's a teen slasher. Um, you know, you're not it's you're not gonna like not be able to sleep at night. It's just an easy one to get to. It's fun. I grew up with it, and um, it has somewhere in the title. Therefore, it belonged in this. Next, you guys are gonna hate me for saying this. Funny games. Come on, come on. Okay. So um, obviously, I watched the Funny Games remake, the English version. It is, um, <laughs> is it a psychological thriller? It's not really a psychological thriller, but it is just, so, it's just very mind gamey. Like, it's fucked. Anybody that I've watched it with that I've been like, hey, watch the funny games with me, it's a good movie, has hated it, hated it. And there is one scene, and if you've seen it, you know what the scene is. There's one scene in there that everybody hates and I love it and I love seeing their expression of frustration when, when it gets to that scene and they're like are you fucking kidding me this is the worst movie ever I I really do enjoy funny games I think it's brilliant I think that the actors who play the like fucked up snobby rich kids are amazing I just I love the film I love it so much so funny games is a great one it's very um summer you know it's like it's a bunch of rich people going to their suburb cabins and having a fun time and then getting murdered. And I thought that I would include it in this because I don't think it's a movie that necessarily everybody has seen, uh, but I feel like it is more on the controversial side as a lot of these are more just like well-accepted horror films. This one I feel like is a bit more controversial in that people either love it or hate it. <laughs> Have you guys seen Funny Games? Do you like it? Please tell me you like it or our relationship is just gonna dissolve right now because you're gonna hate me. <laughs> All right, and to the grand finale. The last movie that I chose was, again, a summer film. It's very hot, it takes place in summer. I think this is my 10th movie, is Lucio Fulci's Zombie. I watched this movie a very long time ago. I think it came out in the 70s. So I watched it probably like 15 years ago, something like that and just automatically loved it. Oh, I was gonna wear my Lucio Fulci zombie shirt! I forgot next time. But I love this film. Um, not to say that there aren't issues with it. Of course there are. It's from like the 70s. There are scenes where you're like, that doesn't make any sense. It's a really good film. There's a lot going on. There's witchcraft, there's, you know, there's doctors kind of doing experiments and trying to figure out what's going on. There are zombies and these zombies, my friends, can, um, like if they're walking and they go in the water, they can just like survive underwater. So there is a phenomenal shark versus zombie scene. Oh yeah, you heard that right. Shark versus zombie. It's fantastic. It's such a good scene. Oh, it's so worth the movie just to watch that scene. Another scene involving an eye, I won't give it away, but there's another scene involving an eye, an eye that I'm um, quite keen on. Yeah, the, the gore, the special effects, the, the practical effects is what made me fall in love with the film. Oy. So I think if I counted correctly, those are the 10 horror films that I love to revisit every summer. So grab some sunblock, get your sunglasses ready, and watch some of these films because they are just some fun summer slashers. Hopefully you found something that you enjoy watching and you're like, oh shit, I forgot about Lucio Fulci's zombie. I'm gonna go watch that on Shutter right now. It's on Shutter. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to stick around, please do. I have some other videos coming up and I'm going to see you again on Friday. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.